Hi students! Welcome back again to another episode of Learning. For today's video, pag-aaralan natin ang Triangle Proportionality Theorem. So the other name of this theorem is the Basic Proportionality Theorem. Let's get right into the statement of this theorem. If a line intersects the two sides of a triangle and is parallel to the third side, then it divides the two sides into proportional segments. Sa madaling sabi, let's say we have triangle ABC, this line XY, hindi ko na lang siya in-extend, ang symbol na ito, that means XY is parallel to BC. This line intersects the two sides AB and AC and is parallel to this third side BC, then... We have AX is to BX is equal to AY is to CY. Ito yung sinasabi rito na proportional segments. Okay, so AX over XB or BX is equal to AY over YC or CY. Now we have the converse of this theorem. Pag sinabi natin converse yung binaligtad. So the converse of this statement is also true. If a line intersects the two sides of a triangle and divides this into proportional segments, then it is parallel to the third side. So ang kabaligtara naman daw niyan, kapag ang line, let's say in this figure, we have PQ intersects DE and DF and DP over PE is equal to DQ over QF, ito yung sinasabi rito na proportional segments, then PQ is parallel to EF. Okay, so iyan yung kabaligtaran ng ating triangle proportionality theorem or basic proportionality theorem. Let's have a quick example on how to use the triangle proportionality theorem or TPT and its converse. Okay, so given this figure, we have two parallel segments, itong dalawang ito. That means these segments of the two sides are proportional. By triangle proportionality theorem, we have the proportion 9 over 4 is equal to 12 over x. Then to solve for x, magko-cross multiply lang tayo rito. So 9x is equal to 4 times 12. Hindi ko siya na-multiply dahil pwede tayong mag-cancel kapag nag-divide tayo both sides by 9. Okay, so x is equal to cancel yung 12 at 9, matitira ay 3 at saka 4. And then, wala na tayong makakancel. So, multiply na kaagad. 4 times 4 is 16 over 3. So, this is the value of x. Now, for the converse of TPT, show that AB is parallel to YZ given the length of the segments. So, para masabi natin ang AB ay parallel to YZ, kailangan mapakita natin na proportional yung segments ng first side at saka itong second side natin. So, gagawa tayo ng proportion, 8 over 12 is equal to 10 over 15. Kailangan equal daw itong dalawang ito. So, kung hindi sila equal, ibig sabihin ang AB ay hindi parallel sa YZ. At pwede tayong mag lowest term ng 8 over 12 at 10 over 15 or mag cross multiply tayo. Any of the two method, pwede naman siya. So, let's say gamitin natin yung unang method, i lowest term natin ito. So, divided by... 4 yung uh, numerator at denominator, so meron tayong 2 thirds. Ito namang 10 at 15, may GCF na 5. So, 10 divided by 5 is 2. Ito namang 15 divided by 5 is 3. So, makikita natin na sila ay equal, so the answer is correct. Kung gusto namang, mo namang mag-cross multiply, 8 times 15 is 120 and 12 times 10 is also equal to 120. Pareho lang. So, either of the two method, pareho lang naman yan. Let's have the following examples. Number one, uh, given triangle ABC with DE is parallel to BC, let's find the measure of AB. Since DE is parallel to BC, so by TPT, we have the proportional segments X plus 5, ito yung AD, over 5, which is DB, is equal to AE, which is X minus 1, over Four. So, ang target natin dito is masolve muna yung value ng x. So, by cross multiplication, ikocross mo lang siyang ganan. So, 4 times x plus 5 is equal to 5 times x minus 1. Then, by distributive property, meron tayong 4x plus 20 is equal to 5x minus 5. Then, we have 4x minus 5x is equal to negative 5 minus 20. 4x minus 5x is equal to negative x. And negative 5 minus 20 is equal to negative 25. Then, multiply by negative 1 or divide by negative 1, x is equal to 25. Ang nakuha pa lang natin ay value ng x. Ngayon, ang hinahanap natin ay measure ng ab. Ito yung length na ito. So, kailangan natin i-plus itong uh, x plus 5 at saka 5. So, 
x plus 5. So, AB is equal to x plus 5 plus 5. So, that is x plus 10. And the value of x here is 25. So, 25 plus 10 is equal to 35 units. Ito ang measure ng AB. Okay? Next, number 2. Given triangle PQR with YZ parallel to QR, find PZ. Okay, itong measure nito. Now, using the triangle proportionality theorem, we have the proportion X plus 1 over 4. Measure of PY over 4, the measure of YQ is equal to PZ, which is X plus 2, over ZR, which is 6. Then by cross multiplication, so 6 times x plus 1 is equal to 4 times x plus 2. Okay? And then by distributive property, 6x plus 6 is equal to uh, 4x plus 8. Okay? Then 6x minus 4x, nilipat yung 4x is equal to 8 minus 6, nilipat yung 6 dito. Then 2x is equal to 2, divide both sides by 2 x is equal to 1. Ang hinahanap natin na segment ay itong PZ. So, PZ is equal to x plus 2. And the value of x here is 1. So, 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 units. Next example number 4. Given triangle ARC with MN parallel to AC, find CR. So, by TPT, we have the proportional segments x over x plus 2. Ito yon is equal to x plus 1 over x plus 4. Ito naman yung dalawang yon. So, ito pwedeng magkabaligtad sila. Okay? As long as magka-partner yung segments ng CR at saka itong segments ng AR. Then, by cross-multiplication, we have x times the quantity x plus 4. Ito yon Is equal to x plus 1 times the quantity x plus 2. Okay? Next, by... Uh, distributive property, then we have x squared plus 4x is equal to, it times natin to using the FOIL method. So, x times x, x squared. x times 2 is equal to 2x. 1 times x plus x. 1 times 2 plus 2. And then, since meron tayong x squared plus x squared, pag nilipat natin yung isa sa isang side, makakancel na to. Okay? So, we have 4x is equal to 2x plus x is 3x plus 2. Then, 4x minus 3x, nilipat natin yung 3x is equal to 2. Then, x is equal to 2. Okay? So, after that, hanapin natin yung measure ng CR, wherein CR is the sum of x plus 4 at saka yung x plus 2. Kailangan natin silang i-add yung measurement kasi sila yung bumubuo sa CR. So, CR is equal to x plus 4 plus x plus 1 is 2x plus 5. And then, ipalit natin yung 2. So, 2 times 2 plus 5 is equal to 9. Okay? So, pwede rin namang ipalit nyo na yung x dito sa x plus 4. That is 6. Dito naman sa x plus 1 ay 3. Kasi 2 plus 1 ay 3. Tapos, i-plus nyo siya. Ang sagot pa rin natin dyan ay 9. Next, for example, number 4, we have triangle TIE with PQ parallel to EI. Find TP. So, uh, the proportional segments here are x plus 1 over 2x. Ito yun. Okay? Is equal to x minus 1 over x. Okay? Next, by cross multiplication, we have x times x plus 1 is equal to 2x times x minus 1. Ito yung magka-partner, yung magka-cross. And then, it times natin ito. So, x times x is x square and then plus x. This one is 2x square minus 2x. Okay? And then, we have uh, x square minus 2x square is equal to negative 2x minus x. Okay? Nilipat ito negative 2x square. Itong x nilipat naman dito. Then, we have x square is equal to negative 3x. Okay? And then, we have uh, to divide both sides by negative x. Bakit by negative x? Para maging x na lang yung matira rito sa left side. Tapos, makancel natin dito yung x. Okay? Kasi ito x square pa. Kailangan maging x siya. So, cancel yung isang factor na x at saka yung negative. So, x na lang ang matitira. Cancel yung x dito. Cancel din yung negative sign. Ang matitira ay 3. Okay? So, x is equal to 3. Or kung medyo nalilito kayo rito, so, meron tayo ritong 
uh, negative x square is equal to negative 3x, pwedeng ilipat nyo rin yung x square, negative x square. So, meron tayong 0 is equal to x square minus 3x, and then, pwede kayong mag-factoring dito, x times x minus 3 is equal to 0. So, by 0 product, x is equal to 0, x minus 3 is equal to 0, then x is equal to 3. So, dalawa yung root natin dito, x is equal to 0. Kaso, pag ipinalit natin dito, magiging negative siya. Kaya, i-disregard din natin itong x is equal to 0. Ang sagot lang dito is x is equal to 3. Now, ang hinahanap na measure natin dito is TP. Okay, ito yung TP. So, TP is 2 times... 3 which is equal to 6 units. Another thing, kung, kung bakit dinisregard natin yung x is equal to 0 kasi pag ipinalit natin siya rito, 2 times 0 is equal to 0. Okay, ganun din dito.